We're here at the 2011 SAE International Hybrid and Electric Vehicle Symposium in Anaheim, California. And we're here with Joe Slenzak, who is Director of Business Development for Robert Bosch's Hybrid and Electric Vehicle uh, Technology and Business. Um, welcome, Joe. Thanks, Lindsay. Glad to be here. Uh, uh, great presentation today on, uh, on Bosch's involvement in the VW and Porsche hybrid powertrain system. Uh, and you talked about um, uh, many, many technologies. I'm wondering how uh, uh, the electrification of the vehicle is uh, impacting your business in North America. I mean, you know, the space is exploding. How is that working out for Bosch? Uh, you know, it's great. I mean, about five years ago, Bosch put together what we call a hybrid house uh, to really look at and develop uh, hybrid technology for the market. Um, we weren't first to market. Uh, we had actually worked on hybrids a long time ago, and then diesel came around, and we kind of slowed down in the hybrid area. But then, uh, you know, again, about 2005, we focused on hybrids. Uh, we've developed a portfolio of different e-machines, power electronics, um, chargers. Uh, we have a joint venture with Samsung SDI called SB Lomotive, uh, doing lithium-ion batteries. Uh, so again. Uh, the intent for Bosch is that uh, we wanted to have a full portfolio, kind of a full system, just like we do for diesel and for gasoline systems, so we can provide customers with uh, full electrification systems if required, or if they want to buy components from us, that too. So if I was developing a vehicle, I could get a motor from you, I could get power control from you, or soup to nuts, really, the entire system. Exactly, and we have all the software that goes with the hybrid control system, uh, which includes the diagnostics, OBD, uh, you know, control system, so again, anything uh, from the engine control all the way to the wheels. Now you talked today, Joe, about the P2 system that's the parallel hybrid system used by Volkswagen in the uh, Touareg hybrid and the Porsche Cayenne hybrid. And some, some very interesting technology developed by Bosch. Uh, the clutch control uh, uh, system is, is one of the key enablers of this technology. Can you tell us about the development of that? Sure. Uh, you know, really, uh, first, it's, it's the world's first a P2 parallel hybrid system with a single motor uh, system out there in the market. Uh, we were first. Uh, we launched it in April 2011 with, uh, again, the VW Touareg. Uh, again, what's unique about that system is basically we're able to do both uh, electric driving and regeneration and starting the engine uh, after electric driving uh, with one e-machine. So instead of using either multiple e-machines like a power split or a dual mode or having a bass uh, belt alternator starter system in addition to the single motor, uh, we're able to do it with a single single e-machine. Mm -hmm. Now how about that clutch system? Uh, is that clutch system uh, designed just for the VW transmission or is this a uh, uh, electromechanical design that uh, if I was another transmission manufacturer I could go to you guys and and acquire. Well again, Bosch uh, works on developing platform solutions and what we've done is uh, come up with what we call the IMG or Integrated Motor Generator and what that does is uh, it's an uh, electric machine uh, on one side in the same housing though we've uh, integrated the clutch system. Uh, so we have a dry clutch uh, system that's uh, basically uh, controlled by an actuator uh, and again, it's the control software that's really key of how to make that clutch come on and off. But what we've done is, uh, in this modular approach, we're able to move it into a variety of different OEMs using the same transmission that they use for a production vehicle. In the case of the Touareg, it's an 8-speed Aishin. Uh, but again, that transmission is the exact same transmission that's used in the base vehicle. Um, so what we were able to do is put that e-machine uh, clutch package between the engine and the transmission, uh, and we can do that for any OEM. And a lot of efficiencies too, using a uh, single motor for both stop-start and vehicle propulsion. Yes, uh -huh. and again, um, the key uh, enabler for that technology for us to be able to do with a single motor was the clutch software. Um, it has adaptives in it uh, so that we compensate over time. Uh, clutch wear, we look at and model all the parameters that are going on in the system as far as temperature, pressures uh, with the clutch, uh, so we understand exactly what's happening at that clutch. Uh, so that we can have smooth, seamless starts. Very interesting. You know, when you do kind of name associations with Bosch, you think about many, many different products. Uh, you know, fuel injection on the diesel side, of course, all these hybrid developments. Uh, Europe has been really more focused towards diesel uh, in terms of uh, fuel efficiency, say over the last decade, but things are changing. I realize your responsibility is for North America, Joe, but could you talk about uh, how vehicle electrification is affecting Bosch globally, not just in North America? 
Well, it is. I mean, when we set up this hybrid house uh, again back in 2005, uh, you know, the intent was to be uh, have a global footprint for electrification. Um, clearly, we started our developments with uh, some European OEMs for electrification. Uh, obviously, Touareg and Porsche uh, as the, the first two, uh, and then again after that, uh, we basically have uh, locations globally so that we have uh, activities in China, activities in Japan, uh, North America, and Europe. Uh, as far as uh, Bosch's philosophy from a powertrain electrification standpoint or energy efficiency, we really look at uh, there's not one winner here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's multiple technologies that have to be put together uh, to really move us into the fuel efficiency game, whether it's GDI, diesel, or powertrain electrification. And in the near term, up through 2020, certainly, um, you know, those time, all those technologies will be used uh, in some type of mix with the OEMs. Now, long term, when we get into the post-2020 time frame, uh, you know, truly Bosch sees powertrain electrification as the end game for us. Uh, and that's why we're involved now. And again, we're building up all the portfolio that we need um, with our customers, uh, learning along with them all the technologies that are required. Uh, and then again, we think that uh, between the batteries we're developing, motors, power electronics, and chargers, we'll have a full portfolio that will be able to take us into the past 2020. Mm -hmm. Joe, on the charging side with EVs, you know, infrastructure and so forth, uh, any activities at Bosch or uh, uh, potential opportunities uh, on the grid side yeah, or well, grid connection side? Yeah, you know, Bosch is more than just automotive. I mean, we have uh, thermal systems, we have Rexroth, uh, you know, we're into power tools, we're into, uh, you know, consumer goods as far as dishwashers and, you know, uh, a variety of different uh, consumer appliances. And there's a group uh, within Bosch looking at all those different things and how do they all interconnect and what would be the, the home of the future and, and how does the grid all interact with that. Hmm, very interesting. Um, any further thoughts? Well, again, I mean, you know, Lindsay, thanks again for having this interview. Um, I think it's a good way to bring forward what Bosch is working on in the future from powertrain electrification. Um, you know, again, Bosch is uh, really focused on, you know, what, how to save energy and how to, you know, make the planet a better place. Very good. Right. Interesting presentation today. Thanks, good Lindsay. to see you, Joe. Thanks so much. You too.